Okay, I'm going to start. That's um, going to looking at bearings. All right, so this is your assignment that you have for bearings. I'm not sure how many of you have completed it. I have not um, checked as yet to see how many have um, submitted their work toward it. But I'm assuming that no one here has completed it. That's my, uh, that'll be my assumption. And so let's look at how we go about solving a problem in bearings. So this is your assignment, you're giving content, you're being, you're told what a bearing is. All right. Um, you're given examples here. Uh, always begin from the north, always measured in a clockwise direction, always written with three figures. All right, but if you notice here, this wasn't written with three figures. So that's an error on that example right there. And also you'll notice it's not strict, strictly done with three figures, right? Look at that one here and there as well. So it's it's not, well, I'm, I'm not gonna be strict on you to, to follow this um, rule here that you always use three figures. But I share it with you because that's what, um, those are the fundamental um, principles of bearings. But our goal in this math class is not to, um, to comply with all of the um, requirements regarding um, bearings in terms of how it's used in the professional world, in terms of how it's used by navigators and pilots. Our goal is to get you to solve problems using this idea of bearings, okay? So this one you cannot avoid. You must start from the north and you must go in a clockwise direction. That one, Mr. Taylor will not, um, I will not let you off if you start measuring in a different direction. The, you're gonna get some wrong, you're gonna get marked wrong. But if you put two, two digits instead of three, I will not mark you wrong, okay? Hopefully I'm, I've been clear on that. Here we have an example of a bearing. Okay, we, it says we always use three figures. Yeah, that's technically how it's supposed to work. Um, here, is, here we have 65 degrees. And the way we read it is, it is a bearing of B. This angle, if we draw an arrow instead of just a line, to show the rotation, right? If we wanted to show rotation, we would see that the arrow points down toward this line and toward B. So it's a bearing of B from A. A is a starting point. Any questions so far? Okay, the next point I wanna make so this is important to understand how to read it. How would you read this? You would say 65 degrees is the bearing of B from A. A is a starting point. Where are we headed? We're headed toward B. So where you're headed, that's where you start with here, of B. That's where you're going. And where, where, do you, where did you come from? From A, okay? Next issue I wanna clear up, you don't have to, answer each of these questions, each of these problems using both methods. Just choose one, okay? Use them as you need them, all right? So that's all I have to say for that. Um, and this one is saying the bearing of X from Y is 215, all right? You have to figure out which one is it? Which diagram shows this? And you get 10%, wow. Big, big points, all right? Bearing of X from Y. All right, so we'll close that.